Hey everybody and welcome to a very special Let's Play here. This is a preliminary Let's Play, shall we say, of Monaco is mine, or Monaco what's yours is mine, or just plain Monaco. Now a lot of people in the indie scene have probably been following this game for a long time. This is a former IGF main competition winner that's been in existence and in development for like three, four years at this point, maybe even more. Uh, but the guys at Pocket Watch Games are getting fairly close to release. They're planning on releasing maybe in March of this year. It's available for pre-order right now. I'll put the link for that in the video description. Uh, but the guys at Pocket Watch Games were nice enough to send me a preview build, and they gave me permission to do this Let's Play and show some gameplay, as long as I, you know, don't show off too much of the endings or anything like that. So I'm really excited to be bringing this to you here, because this is a game that's been on my radar for quite some time, similar to, like, the length of time that Fez was on my radar. What uh, Monaco is is kind of like a bank-robbing simulator and it functions, I, I don't want to say it's a stealth game, because it's not a stealth game, there's many different ways you can do things, but it functions as kind of a cooperative multiplayer game that you can also play in single player. Without further ado, let's just get started here. Actually, I don't want to play online. For some reason, I have my online set up here. I'm sorry, Siphon D. I'm gonna just going to switch that to play offline. I'm using my Xbox 360 controller right now, by the way, but you can totally use uh, PC controls, keyboard, and mouse. You do need mouse. So, we're just going to start in our first mission here, and the first thing you're going to notice about Monaco is that we have a few characters that we can choose from. So I can be the locksmith, who has uh, the ability to pick doors uh, and safes very quickly, which is very useful. The lookout, uh, which allows him to kind of sense distant enemies while he's sneaking, we'll talk about that a little bit later. The pickpocket, which allows him to co collect loot a little bit easier. And the cleaner, which actually allows us to knock out unsuspecting enemies, which is what I'm going to take here for this first mission. So all of these missions uh, start with a little bit of kind of a lead-in here, which I don't really want to do the, the dialogue for, but you can read it as we go here. As you can see, the lookout saying, uh, all of our guys have been captured, essentially, and they are about to be shipped out. Uh, but we're gonna see what kind of mission we have here. So the locksmith saying he can get us out. We're the cleaner. The psycho- or, yes, we are the cleaner. Um, what the heck was I gonna say here? Finally, we reached the objective. Escape from prison while the storm lasts. Are you ready? Indeed, I am. So we're gonna get started here. Apologize for my stumbling over words there, but Monaco is uh, fairly brand new to me. I've only spent a few hours with this game, including the time that I spent with it at PAX this year. But basically, it's a top-down game, as you can see from the interface right here, and these early levels are going to serve as kind of a tutorialization for us. What we have to do is pick up as many of those gold diamonds as you can see, uh, as well as usually an objective on each level that is going to allow us to... Uh, complete the level and eventually advance the story so we can see what this guard is saying here He's behind a wall, so we can't really do anything to him here The dear mom and dad life as a prison guard has been pretty boring mainly I spend all night just Staring at my computer sounds familiar hoping for something exciting to happen be careful what you wish for my friend We're gonna collect some more gold and unlock these doors here and sneak around so, generally speaking, if I hold A here, I can see our objective. So, we've got to escape, basically. That's our only objective right now. And if you actually look in the top left, you can see how many gold diamonds remain on this level. So, now there are zero on this level, but if we go up to the tunnels here, uh, there will be, I believe, seven here. Uh, six now, because I've gotten some. So, usually the levels in Monaco are kind of spaced out this way, in that there's, um... Well, by the way, I should point out, there is a security system here. But by hacking this, which we can do add terminals throughout the, uh, the level, we can actually turn that off and then progress forward a little bit ourselves. Uh, but yes, there, there's usually multiple floors in Monaco, and each floor has different things that can end up either benefiting you or are essential, rather, to the actual, uh, completion of the mission itself. This level has 30 gosh darn pieces of gold on it, so we're gonna try to get those, and I'm gonna try to also demonstrate what makes the cleaner my favorite- oh, there's a guard on us. What makes the cleaner my favorite, uh, person to play as so far? So the cleaner's special ability is when guards don't suspect him, which means they don't have the question mark over his head. He- oh! Whoops, I totally botched that. He can actually knock them out, so I'm gonna try to hide from this guard here and demonstrate that. Every squad member- oh, has their own unique ability. By the way, guards right now are very easy to deal with because they merely possess, um, fists. Oh, maybe if we go through here. Uh, yeah, they merely have fists, but later they're gonna have guns, which is gonna make them way, way, way more annoying. Okay, so I think we're safe because the music's gone back to normal. Oh, yes, there we go. Managed to knock him out before he uh, suspected me again. So guards do kind of function in similar, not that this is a stealth game, but they function under similar stealth mechanics uh, to a lot of stealth games. Like, oh, that's not good. Uh, do I have only 11 left here? Okay, we can probably escape and knock him out. And the guards that, it, what I mean by that is basically that the guards, uh, you know, they start out suspecting you and then they're like, hey, did you hear something? But if you end up just hiding from them for a few seconds, you'll probably find yourself doing A-OK. -okay. okay, I didn't manage to knock him out, 
but provided I get this and then oh I want to hack this door though okay one second this has been pretty well botched I'm gonna do this level again but I'll demonstrate the kind of more of a score attacky way to do it because there is a high element of score attacking in this game as well so I'm just gonna sneak by this guy now I could have knocked him out but that's unnecessary instead I'm just gonna hack this terminal right here which should turn off the security and then we'll go through this final locked door which should allow us to escape in the van. So that's the end of our tutorial level. As you can see, we cleaned it out, meaning we got all of the gold diamonds that were necessary for us to get. And it took us a little bit longer than usual. I'm ranked 4 daily in 177th all time, which is pretty bad considering not a whole lot of people have this game right now. But we're going to try that level again, and I'm going to demonstrate how you might play it through uh, with the lockpick. So we're just going to skip through the story there uh, about us escaping from prison, and you're going to see how fast the lockpick works in comparison to the cleaner. The cleaner's got his own strengths, obviously, but the lockpick uh, is much faster at getting through locked doors, which is going to make him probably better for score attacking this level. Like I said, there is a high element of score attacking. Well, it's not score attacking, really. It's time attacking uh, to set up the best times. There's already some pretty strong competition on the leaderboards uh, that I have unfortunately been unable to surmount. I think I've ranked as high as like the top 10 on some levels. I probably should not even hack this right now. I probably should just have run through that if I was going for the best time possible. But it's important to also get all of the uh, gold on every single level. Because if you don't, each gold diamond that you miss actually adds 10 seconds to your score. So we're just going to fit through here, steal this. Got to make sure that we get absolutely all of the gold diamonds here. I managed to sneak by that guy. Okay. And we should be able to continue doing that in here. Let's just take all this. What do we have left? 17. Oh, this guy's going to come through that door. That's not good for us. Does he see us? Yes, he does. But if we get around here, we should be okay. There are med kits just in case we get hurt. But I think I'm going to be fine for that. And indeed, once we just sneak through this last door here, um, might as well not even worry about the security system because we're going to be able to make it quickly enough. As you can see, that was much, much faster. We're still not going to be uh, very good on the leaderboards here, but that was much better than the, the times that I'd done it before. Or the time that I'd done it before, anyway. So, having done that, new daily rank 3, new all-time rank 47. You know what? I'll take it for now. And in completing that mission, we actually unlock a new mission. So there is a progression in terms of story here. So we're going to move on. I've already done like four or five of these levels, as you can see. But I am going to uh, play through the play through them again as we do kind of a miniature let's play here of this preview build of Monaco because I'm really enjoying the game so far and I want to show it off. So let's check out Hijack at the Hairpin and this time why don't we... Mm, let's be the lookout. I don't really like the pickpocket that much. So just in terms of following the story here. So we need some passports. We've now all broken out of jail is essentially the resolution of what happened on the last mission. Uh, we need money, friends, and passports. You guys remember the thick fella from Cell Block B, the one who dug the tunnel? So we are going to get the mole here. Uh, in a lot of these missions, in the early game, you're actually unlocking new uh, classes that you can take in later games. By the way, there is four-player online co-op in this, which is really where the game shines. So I'm going to try to show off a little bit of the co-op uh, later, uh, maybe in a Let's Look at. But for now, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of the game uh, single-player from the perspective of a Let's Play here. So now we do have guns. They're just going to introduce us to this uh, basic mechanic here. And the way we aim this gun is by using our right analog stick. Or if you're using uh, keyboard and mouse, you'll just be using your mouse in order to do that, as you might expect. Now, every 10 coins, we get another shot, which is really useful because we really don't start out with a lot of ammunition here. Uh, we only have three shots, as you can see right now, if I hold the 8 button. Now, I could shoot this guy, but I could also just sneak by him and save some ammo. Unfortunately, I think we are going to have to come back and uh, deal with that guy later, but for now, at least I saved some ammunition as we came through here. So I am going to just pick up all this. As you can see, steal 10 coins for one extra ammunition. We've got 50... Yeah, 50 remaining here, so this is going to take us a little while. And one of the strengths of Monaco is really the level design, uh, in that there's multiple ways... Come on. Uh, he sees me, so I'm just going to kill him. There's multiple ways in order to complete uh, each and every single level that we come across. Now, I'm just going to use my ability as the cleaner here. By holding left trigger and sneaking, I can actually see where the guards are going and I can use that to sneak by them. Sneaking is a, a valuable ability in its own right. It causes you to make less noise, I believe, uh, thus making you less noticeable to guards. But suffice it to say, every uh, every guard, or not every guard, every class has their own ability that makes them worthwhile in their own right. Now I should say, they can actually bring each other back to life, which is what happened there. Uh, those guys who have been killed, he just revived. So I am just going to get the heck out of there. I have no interest in, in just killing the guards. Like, that seems a little bit unnecessary to me. All I have an interest in is stealing all the money, stealing the objective, and getting the heck out of there. I don't want to be, you know, the Joker. I don't want to watch the world burn. I just want my dough. So I there was a med kit there, but there's no need for me to get that yet. 
I'm just gonna sneak a little... Oh, he sees me! Let's get the heck out of there. Generally speaking, at least in these early levels, you've got a fairly... Oh, I'm just gonna have to murder that guy. Uh, you've got a fairly lenient kind of enemy detection system, but things do get more difficult once the enemies uh, start packing heat on the regular. How many am I missing here now? Still nine. Okay, so I think they're gonna be in the railway cars. Because I have not done a great job of clearing those out so far. This guy somehow does not see me. We might be able to continue with that, believe it or not. How many are we missing now? Only two. Oh, and I see them actually on our screen here. So let's pick this up. Pick this up. And then if we just get the heck out of here. Might require killing some more dudes, but that is going to clean out this floor. You really, if you're, if you're planning to do any kind of score attacking or time attacking here, you have to get absolutely every single diamond. Or you are not going to do... Because um, every single one carries a 10 second penalty if you miss it. So it's very, very important in order to get all of those. So we need to get 16 here, but we have unlocked the Mole now. So the Mole's unique ability is that he is actually able to burrow through walls. So if I burrow through this wall right here, and then burrow through this wall right here, I should be able to get that last pesky gold diamond. I don't know what else to call them. I want to call them gold bars, but they don't really look like gold bars, do they? So I think this is going to allow me to clean them out. They only have three more, and that is good. Got through that without killing too, too many people. And in fact, I, you could almost say that I didn't kill anybody because I believe he brought all his comrades back to life. We'll see where we rank. Third on the daily. 67 overall. Not nearly as good as this game as perhaps I thought I was. Now we're going to check out like the first... It's still a tutorial mission, but it's really like an overarching... Uh, like the first wide scoped mission, shall we say. This is going to be in a mission with an objective uh, and a lot of like phases involved, uh, including an escape phase where after we uh, get, accomplish our objective or get the documents that we need to get, uh, we have to get the heck out of there. So I'm going to play as... who have I not played as yet? I played a little bit as the mole. Why not play as the pickpocket? I really don't like the pickpocket, but uh, that's okay. So we've rescued the mole. Now I believe we are going to get some passports here. Yes, we've got to get some passports. Get out of Dodge. The mole is going to tell us that the Lebanese embassy in Monaco is the least secure. So we are just going to get in there, steal the passports, and get out of there. I don't know if I've ever gotten all of the gold on this one, actually. But on this level, by the way, the pickpocket, as you can see, has this monkey that is going to follow us around and pick up some gold. Uh, so we don't necessarily have to pick up all the gold, but, you know, we probably still want to for the most part. But the smoke bomb is going to be a valuable distraction tool. Now, if I was the cleaner, I could just run up to this guy and knock him out as long as he didn't suspect me. But that's kind of one of the cool things about Monaco, at least in single player, is that when you're playing as, uh, like, different classes, it very much changes the strategy that you're going to want to go through on each level. So the monkey went through there uh, without activating the security system, which is great for us, and we're just going to ignore that guard and continue moving on here. We are probably going to have to alert some guards at some point, but there are ways to get through these security systems without actually uh, triggering them, which is good. I mean, I, as you can see, I can just disable them, but beyond that, they also turn off for a brief second now and then, so we're just going to hide here until we get a chance to move out. Good. And this is a, a level that really shines in multiplayer, because you really have to be very, very coordinated with your partners to make it work. Uh, otherwise, if one of you triggers the security system, you can find yourself in a world of hurt fairly early. Anyway, we're gonna come out of here. Monkey's gonna get all that gold. Maybe he's more useful than I originally thought. We're gonna wait for the security system to turn off, which it does. How many are we missing here? Eight stills. Is this eight up here? Luckily, these guys are apparently completely deaf. And now, um, we're only missing zero. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna sneak through the security systems. We will be able to hack a little bit later, but as for now, that was a fairly good first floor. So I'm happy with that. We're gonna head up to the second floor. There we go. So now we can use security, or computer to hack security. What this allows us to do is, essentially, it'll send like a, a square out that you'll be able to see. And this will deactivate security systems that we come close to. But by activating a bunch of these, we can turn off a number of security systems at once. And I like the way the hacking system works in this game. In that the computers are kind of automatically set to... Or when you, when you hack a computer, it's automatically set to kind of like follow you around and disable the security systems that are most uh, dangerous to you, dependent on the context of the game so far. So we just snuck past this guy. Still got 19 or so to get here, which is a decent amount, but we should still be okay. By the way, you might notice I have lives remaining, but that hasn't really factored into the equation for me so far. It is fairly easy to die, but at least when you're playing multiplayer, which is how I've spent a lot of time in the game so far, um, there is a... Oh, don't trigger him. Just let the monkey get everything. Uh, pretty much my strategy for life in a nutshell. Just let the monkey get everything, man. 
What a convenient time for this uh, Let's Play as well, with Ikea Monkey trending so hard right now. Uh, now I just have to figure out how to get all this. The monkey apparently doesn't activate the security system. So if I had to, you know, be a security analyst for these guys, I think that I would just monkey-proof all of their security. Okay, I have totally botched this raid at the end. But that's okay, because I don't think any of them really got alerted. I think they just suspected. You can see, like, their meter grow uh, as time goes on. Now, where do I want to go? Usually you want to follow the trophies. So, I th oh yeah, we want to go up to main office now. So I might have to hack the security system again. And move onwards here as soon as it's deactivated. Fantastic. So yeah, the, the way I play this level as the pickpocket is very different than the way I've played it previously as the uh, lock picker and as the cleaner. With the cleaner, I tend to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, because it's absolute. Oh, I'm missing one on the second floor. How did that happen? Uh, but I tend to be a little bit more aggressive because you can just knock out guards, which is, is awesome. I have a ton of smoke bombs, by the way, in case we ever get discovered. Every 10 coins, you get another smoke bomb. We're missing only one piece of information here, which is good. Let's turn off our security system. Uh, this trophy here will be the passports, so we'll pick that up. And now we just have to escape, so we have to get back down to the first floor. So let's just exit all the way down here. He doesn't suspect anything. I probably should have snuck past him, but that's okay. Now on the second floor, the guards are a little bit more savvy. A little bit more wise to me because I made some noise. Uh, but yeah, as the, as the pickpocket, I, I can be a little bit more patient. Because the monkey doesn't trigger... Okay, that was stupid. The monkey doesn't trigger the security system. We're just going to have to run past a lot of these guys. Uh, and with the monkey not triggering the security system... It makes my life way easier. And this is where Monaco really shines, is uh, situations like this where things are about to get real zany. Because I need to get that last diamond, but I also need to get out of here with, I mean, preferably without being seen. Uh, he's, well, just get out of there. If only I had the lock picker, I could do this much more quickly. Okay, we're fine. I cleaned them out, which is good. I like that it gives you a notification for that. And I think I'm just going to book it now. I set off the alarm, but I'm just going to run. We should be able to get out of here quickly. He's going to shoot me. I'm just going to put down a smoke bomb, which allowed me to escape. Uh, and then we're going to just kind of platform our... Well, it's not really platforming, but we're going to uh, move our way through these security systems, you know, like stealth bastard style. And all we have to do is get to the exit at this point. Which, again, the trophies are, are leading us on our way to that. Oh, sorry. Uh, wrong number. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to let this guy see me. And then I'm just going to pop a smoke bomb down. Good. Actually, I didn't pop a smoke bomb down earlier. I thought I did, but I hit A instead of right trigger. Anyway, by getting in this car, that will be the end of this mission. And we cleaned them out, so I'm thinking my ranking might be okay. We got all the coins. New daily rank 1. I'll take it. And new all-time rank 26. I mean, I have done this mission before. Uh, but that being said, we're going to continue here. And you can see I'm unlocking all these other missions down here as well. I believe this is like a second, second story path. But almost like these are the easy missions. Uh, and then as you clean out more and more missions, which is represented by the diamond above the level, uh, you unlock these more difficult ones below it, which is good. But I'm going to end this episode of uh, Let's Play Monaco here. I'll be back tomorrow with yet another episode. We're going to start at Bank Albert and uh, move on as long as we can, basically. Again, I'll probably have to do some clever editing to not show off the endings, because uh, Andy at Pocket Watch specifically, and I think understandably requested that I not show off uh, the endings of the game, because that's apparently where there's going to be a lot of sweet show pieces. But if you are interested in playing Monaco, there's a link in the video description to go pre-order it. Uh, I believe it is $15 a copy, or you can get a four-pack for $45. So basically buy th three, get one free. Uh, and in pre-ordering it, you don't get access to this version of the game, but you, I believe anyway, but you do get access to the IGF award-winning prototype uh, from a couple of years back that impressed a lot of people. So if you're looking, aching to get your hands on Monaco after a lot of uh, anticipation, this is finally your chance. And this is set to come out in March for uh, Xbox Live Arcade and PC as well. But anything could happen with respect to that. Uh, so if you're just going to join me for one episode for quick gameplay footage, thank you guys for watching. And if you're going to stick around for the rest of the series, well, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.